Hi, this is Bob Scully, and welcome to another edition of our show. It's not every day you drill a gusher in this business, but tonight I have a special treat for you. I want you to meet again somebody I know you loved the first time I introduced him to you, because you tell me so. You loved him on uh, Venture. He was recently our guest for the 500th edition of uh, the French edition of the World Show. Um, you saw him uh, a few years ago. We discussed business, but not just business. We discussed what makes people and companies run? What do they want? How do you hire? How do you fire? How do you keep the dream alive? What is the meaning of making money, if there is such a thing? And uh, Nick Hayek has remained that tremendous optimist who can make everyone dream, not just himself. The minute he starts talking about what he's done with Swatch, the Swiss watch uh, company, and with the Swatchmobile, you'll remember that he took a moribund industry and, and picked it up again when the Swiss watch industry was completely in the doldrums. He's still got that magic and he still has that talent. And so I wanted to go back uh, to see him. We met in the exact same room and he's the same guy. And he's a fantastic uh, leader of men and women, um, somebody who could do just as well, I think, um, in politics or in any other field of endeavor because he loves people and, uh, and he makes you believe it. It's all on the level. Here's a wonderful, wonderful CEO, entrepreneur, and humanist, the Swiss president of Swatch, Nick Hayek. You are known as a man who believes in himself enormously. Anybody who's watching us now can feel it. Um, that's how you turned around uh, the whole Swiss watch industry. That's what entrepreneurs are like. But how do you give that message to your employees? You're a big believer in morale, but not company songs and, and slogans. You go down and talk to these people. And you do motivate them. How do you do it? Well, to start with, I don't believe only in myself. I believe in every human being. I love human beings. The people around me and the people who are not around me, I love them. Unless they prove to me that, that they don't deserve to be loved, to start with. So I believe, to start with, that everybody is capable of innovation. Everybody is capable of taking risks. It's only the school, military service, uh, universities, or the companies and systems you have been working in that destroy most of the possibilities of human beings to do things. You have to give them this back again. They have it. And to give them this, first of all, you should be an example, showing them that you're ready to take a risk yourself, that you're ready to go on the front, fight with them, that they can do it. Show them that they really can do it, and when they do it, they'll be amazed how they can do it. And that's the way you motivate people, by letting them expand the power that they have in them and that our society keeps pressuring them not to show up. And what about people, some of them are watching us, who say, well, that's fine, yes, maybe, but I have a boring job, I have no job, and uh, it's just not for me. It's, it sounds good, but my creativity is gone. Anybody who has a boring job and thinks that he, he's not satisfied with it should open a kiosk or a cleaning uh, uh, company to clean the windows of, uh, of his neighbors, but not stay on this job. Being your own entrepreneur helps you to develop much more power that is inside you than sitting down in an office and being bored day and night. It's not a life that you would like to enjoy. I wouldn't do it. 